once upon a time, back in the long time ago, that building used to be made of steel until the arsonists came and burned it down and I made it out of concrete. Well, in the summer, that building was too hot to hang out in or do anything in. And in the winter, it was way too cold. It had a dirt floor, no insulation, and snow blew in the cracks. That sucked. So we had to travel back all the way to the back of the farm. Every time we wanted to have a good time, summer or winter, and hang out in our trailers. And we had a lookout tower. Uh, this tree was alive back then. I built that in 1995. The floor is 35 feet to the ground. And there's a 60 foot trailer. It's all grown in now. A lot of you Americans are familiar with living in trailers, but not many Canadians. So there she be. So when I made my new concrete building, we didn't party back here anymore. I had an insulated building with electricity back there and all the luxuries of home. Now this trailer actually came from the States. It came from a trailer park in Port Huron. Ah, my son got at it a couple years ago and vandalized it with his graffiti, but I guess we don't care anymore. Still some grown-in furniture and a collapsing picnic table. And one broken window. Now I haven't even been in this trailer yet this year. Looks like other people have. The door's open. It used to be in good condition, but it ain't no more. Oh my God, the roof has collapsed. Holy crap. That wasn't like that last year. Holy crap, the whole roof. Must have been animals. Ew, and the sink is right full of raccoon shit. <laughs> Disgusting. Had me a garbage picked wood stove. I had electricity back here at the time. Why the hell did those animals do that? What were they looking for? Bees nests or something? Wow, this actually was clean last year. Well, let's see what's down the hall now. Well, there's one of those fucking bees. Lots of them. Oops, there's a hole in the floor. Cool. More collapsing ceiling. Hmm. This thing's ready to be burnt down. Oh my god, disgusting. I hear an animal in the ceiling right now. <laughs> oh, I've had some happy times in that bed with some hot chicks. Back here in the middle of nowhere. Ah, more raccoon shit. Well, I guess this place is just totally fucked now, but some people wanted to see it. And I haven't been here for a while, so it looks totally different to me. And even the back door to nowhere. In one giant step. Well, it was a great place for the first 10 years I owned the farm. But, <laughs> now it's kind of worthless. The only thing it's good for is if you get caught riding your motorcycle and it rains and you can get out of the rain. Just a sight for sore eyes now. Well, we just came from there. And now we're back by a little trailer. This is right beside the killing field where the demolition derbies just were. Right over there is the gravel pit with my beach. This trailer is not mine, it's Mike. He's in several of my videos. He got it for free, oh, about a dozen years ago. 
had high hopes of doing something with it, but never did. And it's got a rotted out floor and it's destroyed too. And a broken window. And probably lots of fucking bees. Yeah, there's bugs. And it's totally destroyed too. Yep, nothing but junk. Someday we'll have to make a smash up video with it. So now everybody knows I'm not growing drugs in my trailers. <laughs> Evelyn had a trailer here too. One about seven or eight feet longer than that one. Shortly after we broke up is when they burnt everything down and they burnt her trailer down too, unfortunately. That sure made her hate me for some reason. Well, the last reminder of Evelyn on this property is her, you know, her shed that was beside her trailer. We moved it down near the beach and we made it into a bathroom. If she's watching, she'll recognize that wooden fish or shark that's on top. And you can see there's a toilet in there. And this is so that the girls don't have to go all the way back to the barn. You can also see where it's burnt and rusted up there in the corner because it was near her trailer. Well, I guess you could say those were the good old days.